were able to put so much pressure and break the best of the best teams, but lately the wins haven't been there. Now the exec is coming on. Inter is in the corner. Oh, he spots him on the flyby. Still four headshots. Perfect from Gambit. Perfect. It's the $500,000 matchup. Gambit won the first round. Naphany didn't have any pressure. I think it's almost like when they fly by Inters there, everybody turns back attention because the player didn't clear him as he's coming off of the balcony. To match up with Navi. Ooh, Boomich. There it is. Navi gonna get an early man advantage. He is very much on his own towards middle, so very... Ooh, hold on. I was gonna say crucial kill. Shiro trades it back with the frag versus Perfecto. Hobbit able to get right back down. And no other player pushing through that palace smoke. It was just the one-man foray. Good flash. Shiro assisting Hobbit and making the most of that MP9. From a 5v4 to a 2v4. Now Boomich with a little bit more life in him. The only player for Navi to do anything this round is everybody else fell on their attempt to exit A, and that will be his graveyard too. Three for Gambit. Looking towards Hobbit in jungle to possibly offer something, but Shiro's missed shot's gonna give him a little bit more leeway, a little more wiggle room, just a bit of runway. Commitment to the spray here from Hobbit. Very clean for the 2K. Perfecto gets bombed back up, and even though there's no Molly here on Shiro, Perfecto's still able to plant. Bit uses that M4 to get man advantage, and this means it falls on Inters. Now he's flanking pretty quick, and Perfecto just checked it. This has been timed to a T. And Perfecto, yeah, easy victim. Now, Bit was last spotted up towards Palace, so Inter should have that fresh in his mind. There's utility here on the play as well, including the smoke for Bomb. This should make things a little easier for Inters. But does he want this kill, or does he pry? Oh, a little bit of a peek, that little bit of a drive-by, and Bit three kills in the round. He had no armor on that round as well. It is a gritty struggle all the way to the end, and a very nice attempt from Inters to find that flank off, but... It's a jackknife frag from Electronic to scare everybody and then a second to make things really, really bad. Navi did a great job of wow. just not taking damage in the middle of that round. Gambit may be piecing together a read here. We do have the lean. Sure enough, Nafany gonna be trying to get into position. Simple hit as he flies over. Hoppin's gonna end him. Perfecto's got the answer and so does Bit. Three AK headshots coming in for this T side, but remember, they're low. And again, the clock is two. Nafany with a bit of positioning here towards Column, taking damage, but also delivering. Perfecto's dropped, and Bit responds. Shiro with the off in the 1v2, and he's got a difficult choice, a difficult decision that leads him to the save. Right now, I think they're hitting some, uh, some key metrics. They're like not taking a, a lot of damage in these defaults, and here it's a 4v5 situation, but they do a good job of getting positional compensation, taking over Cat. Also, Bit is having a hell of a match already with one clutch to his name. It's just about these moments right here, right before the exec actually comes in. Who wins these duels? And it, yeah, Gambit will take one. So they're not scared. Just gonna lean back. Yeah, especially with the 5v4 now. They have to believe in the retake. They want to get some spam damage off, but they just don't want to die. Oh, man. Axile. And the push. Yeah, off of ticket. Hobbit with the double. Chance at another one here as Electronic crosses over. It's a Whoa. perfect outcome from Gambit. Yeah. Five strong at the end of it. Nearly a team ace, but Nafany not needed. Quote unquote, impossible rounds to win, but nice reposition here from Axile. Catching Bit as he jumps in through that middle window. Simple's off is posted, and that's two now for The Undertaker. He's looking for more targets. We've got a player making sound inside of Ladder. That's going to be information for Inters. Perfecto also just kind of romping around inside of the apps. That AK that Simple was able to drop and Boomich recovered is taken aback out of the control of Navi. Still Simple within jungle in time is of the essence. 20 seconds. Hobbit locked into this fight versus Simple and that's going to buy time for the push to come closer towards the A site. Shiro drops a shot. Incendiary over towards Triple. An attack from the back. USP in hand and he's down. Hobbit not able to find his target, but there's a challenge from Perfecto that offers up the bomb, and Simple gives cover again. Navi pulling one out. Yeah, just with the op in play. That's it. That's all they had to really make that happen. And it's the double boost in Windows. So you got to think, all right, why, why would Axile peak here inside of Cat? He got his kill in Window. There was some threat. But how often do you boost two into the Window? That's why...
simple expected someone to eventually peek. What a Ooh. last shot, too. That could have actually been a free kill for Inters. Nice. That's an unbelievable shot. Opening tactic to take one down. Opportunity missed for Shiro, but he'll spot one coming in late at mid. I say late, it's still a minute up. Ooh, Exile's cat position catching Perfecto. We've also got Nafany left side window. Uh, he kind of just uh, passes him the ball, right? Shiro sees Perfecto coming out of underpass, so Axile's on full alert. Again, these those rifle rounds where it just gets stripped apart like so meticulously, right? Oh, such textbook. Good, such good connections being made here. Every, every single, single position. Yeah. Every single kill. It's cra it's crazy to think that you can come up, you know, with tricky spots to play on a map like Mirage that everyone knows so well, but Gambit are doing it. Now Electronic with the impossible 1v5 single kill. And Gambit are going to take it back. They're making it hard for themselves by, by not being able to just clamp down on those lesser weapon rounds. Ooh, Navi on the cusp of just sinking their teeth into this A site. Nafany in a bit of a pickle. Turns his attention back. No. Executes Boomich. That's a big pickup. Because now all of a sudden everybody else is just funneled into this A site where Hobbit's ready to go pound for pound with every player. Another one of these ridiculously clean rifle rounds from Gambit. Insane. Underrated, but those jump spots are perfect. Nafany playing out in the open. Keeping it crisp versus bit. Axile here to lend a helping hand. It's simple to answer with something. And even following up with damage versus Nafany. Look at Shiro as well. 26 health for the two players still in mid. Yeah, maybe they will. Shiro's not ready for that. Oh, no. That's kind of a mistake by Shiro. He's a bit foggy, right? They don't have Axel on Cat. They're not spotting it. That oh, was a, oh wait, another what? one. Oh, and that, those are the two players that are low. Bro, for the third time? Whoa, whoa, whoa. A flank off the top of mid? Yeah, this is from T-Spawn. This has been a long con from Hobbit. Inter's going to get the confirmation of the movement. This could actually activate Hobbit a little bit faster as he fires. Simple gets no, it. Miss, a miss movement. Inter's in. It's ooh, electronic down at the last oh. hurdle. Gambit. Again, the heart attack moment. Wow. But this one, this one they survive. Oh, they got the info a little bit too late. Everybody's kind of left him here to his own devices. Problem is, if you give him too much room to work, he's going to punish it. Vents popped. Draws attention. Bit goes for his play, but Nafany cuts him short. We've seen a lot of these rifle rounds be very clean to the favor of Gambit, and they could add one more to the tally here to close out this CT side. Minute left in a 3v5, and Shiro gets the best of Electronic. No trade here from Simple, and no way to do that as the jungle opera moves all the way towards Ticket. Very comfortable moment here for Gambit to end the CT side. Perfecto and Simple need to combine, and at least they'll burn out Hobbit. Then there's a follow-up. Simple will get one frag off of that op, and it's a 49 HP Perfecto in the 1v3. He's piecing together the picture, but he falls. At the hands of Axile, Gambit will get that three-round lead. A stellar CT side. Amazing rounds won by them on those half buys. A lot of ingenuity, but still, Gambit looking that much better. Betway odds still having Navi as the favorites as they trickle into this B site. Two men down for Gambit. Navi, stellar first hold. Soon the smoke will fade and everyone on display for Gambit. There's going to be nowhere to run. There is nowhere to hide. Yes, sir. You just walked into the bear's den and you are getting shredded. But Axile's got a little fight left in him. That's two clean headshots. He's got no teammates to work. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Boomich with yeah. the drive-by, slide-by. Yeah. And that's Navi to close the distance immediately on the defense. He just hit the Nas. He just hit the Nas and swung it. That's a nice round. Makes the game close, which is perfect. The CT side from Navi on this map is absolutely beautiful. My favorite CT side of any team uh, on Mirage. I love how they work around B. So let's see if they can put enough pressure on Gambit again. You know, uh, as we've seen so many times, the buy is not as convincing sometimes to the CT side. So, Fomus is to work with, and one of them is out quick, man. That was the, that was the right call, it looks like. There's the answer. Oh, and, and an even further response, but Boomich getting the better of Hobbit. That makes things a little bit more evened out. God, you gotta appreciate how simple that is, right? That isn't one player swinging out mid-dry. Yeah. That was such an instantaneous clash, like you're talking about. Tons of bodies trying to fly out, and then... Ooh, that opens the door. Exactly. That opens it up because there's also no bomb plant, so check out Boomich. He is just running through that T-spawn. This went from, like, Hold you know, on. a yeah. contemplatable save to a tantalizing attempt. No, oh, that's an absolute game changer. They have oh. no... Oh, they have no timing on Boomich right now. Nope. This could be the 1v2. Shiro and Axel have less HP than him combined. He's not watching. Boomich drops bomb. 
He's gonna fade away, jumps back. Flash deep, oh, oh, but he loses his duel. He doesn't hit any bullets. Axile versus Boomich in the 1v1. Gambit come out on top and their 10th round secured. Shiro's able to get in through connector. This is Gambit just leaking oh. through the cracks of Navi's defense. Axile versus Bit, big no. fight. And the AK comes out at top. And they're, they're holding steady. They have the bomb on the ramp, and they're really hoping they can take it to this site. And Na'Vi have not moved a muscle. Holy hell. Again, these trades back and forth. Another round, just like the last one, that's going to come down to the tightest of margins. Boomich with the op, tucked behind ticket. 15 seconds on the clock. Shiro, he's going to need to double back and grab bomb. Perfecto's now here to try and help. Axile can alleviate the jungle player, what? but Shiro does it on his own, and he's going to start planting. Boomich, does he rush? He could push. Nope. Shiro doubles back. Oh, my God. And Gambit emerged with a three-round lead yet once more. Oh, my God. As they get back into the gun rounds, they're looking for early real estate. What can we find for free? And mid is nearly theirs for the taking, but Axile perfectly timed with the lesser Yo. weapon, turns it up into bit, drills him to the wall. And we've got a 5v2 at this point. It's going to get turned back slightly by Simple. He's got Perfecto to work with, but Inters is planting bomb. This is Gambit just steamrolling their way to a 13th round win. Simple's going to catch one deep in the CT spawn, but on 12 health. They need to go for the save. They've got to walk away and concede a 13th. Navi are bleeding. Absolutely. Dude, you don't even, you don't hit flicks like that in deathmatch. I mean, where do you find these angles? What is this second frag from Axile? It's only the MAC-10. If he got traded, though, it would have been 4-4. Four four. Instant 5v3, and it's over bit of all people. Gambit able to clear out the ladder room. The rotations this are This is going to be a hell of a firefight. A massive clash inside of the B site. A 14th round and a 6th round lead. Oh. That is what's on the line. And first two bodies fall empty handed. Those are the rifles out of the way. Bit with just the Deagle trying to find the target. It is an empty handed Navi crumbling beneath Gambit as they stomp across this B site. Nobody holds them back. Nothing whatsoever. I expected Navi to win this game in 25 rounds. That's the two rifles down, and they're in un unobtain unobtain unobtainable spots for Navi. They'll have these two 5.7s, or this 5.7 and Deagle. They'll sit back and save. B splits coming. 40 seconds up. Perfecto moves into the back of the site, but there's no pressure off of Cat. We've got one in the window. <gasps> Hobbit gets dinked down to 11. But look where the lurk is coming from. Frago. Oh, he gets nailed. Perfecto gonna try to get out in time. He's got wind of what's happening. Nafani coming around this corner. He gets it. Oh, it's down to the 2v2, but Bit will make his difference. And we've got the bomb still on Inters. 15 seconds. How does he get in? And how does he manage to get this bomb down without being swarmed? He won't. Oh. The timing's perfect. Catching him just as he attempts his entry. Down he goes, and we've got Navi. With, with the way they're, they're gonna flash it. So I think, I think he's dead. I think Boomich is dead in this position. Ooh. Oh, no. Wait, they didn't oh, flash it. A double, a triple. Oh, my God. Boomich locks in the bomb and pushes into it as well. This is so much control. Not to mention double man advantage. He had so little to work with, oh. and that's all they needed. Everybody else secures their kills. Only three rounds the gap now. Wow. Okay, that was a weird moment. Okay, they had two players approaching the ramp like they normally do. This is a very common tactic for Gambit, but they had Inters in a position to, to throw a flash for the ramp. They decided not to do it. But again, this can be a neutered position where you will sit, you'll look for info, you might come out for one fight. If you're super sharp that day, you'll get that trade instantly and stay alive. But you're certainly not going to be able to stop the execute completely and Boomich goes down. Bit tries to run forward. He's got a lot of targets. So, oh my goodness, they're able to shave two off the plate. Axile again down from under bats, keeping it clean until Simple drops him. And this is a 1v3 attempt, but with five health, he has to somehow piece together these two kills. A smoke on his utility belt. He could have oh. gone and tried to piece out with Palace, but instead he leans back, grabs the op, and gives away 15. Man. Four map points for Gambit to secure the first map of this best of three. One person and dies it's an entire explosion we're gonna have an entire frag movie from axile in this one position if he keeps this up coming out of underpass as if fighting back from the 4v5 wasn't gonna be hard enough 
Electronic. Oh That's the red. Oh, red That's like a bush. Vic will come off cat. Oh, he can't get the second player. Shiro looks right back to make sure that he hasn't pushed farther. Bit of utility here. That's going to stave off what could be the cat assistance for Boomich. He is a solo A play. All the tier to try and stop this bomb plant. And Shiro, he's going to stick around towards middle. So these rotates are going to be even harder. And look at this. Bit is going to fall unsuspectingly to Shiro's off. A back turn and a shot that connects. Now it falls onto Boomich. 10 seconds to deny Gambit from being able to get this bomb plant and to attempt their 16th round win. He's firing off and he falls just in the nick of time. No spray connects. It needs to be the retake here for the 2v3. Perfecto and simple. They're gonna start to push it forward. Axile already in sandwich. It needs to fall on the Undertaker himself. Can he do it? Can he connect all three? Piecing together the picture with still a little bit of time, but Shiro comes out with the op scoped in, and there it is, a Mirage win for Gambit. They steal away the map pick, and they're taking this to Ancient, where it feels like we've got a hell of an unknown, but this is not the easy peasy reverse sweep from the lower bracket. This is a tested Navi. Navi, they're gonna have some advanced warning. They've got Simple here as well with the USP. He's hiding until the first contact is made inside of the bomb site, which will be on electronic. So, question really is, will it be enough to have Simple on this box? 35 seconds now. There's the stand-up for electronic. Simple hardly gets anything done on that play. He's gonna be going down. Axile with a really swift kill, but the bomb is on the ground and not planted at the moment. And Shira will go down last. It's bit with a terrific double kill. And Navi off to a good start. Perfecto, sneaking up, wanted to take probably that early death back and try and see if they can get the advantage. Is he going to get flashed in? Yes, he will. It's a really good flashbang, but I think Axile was untouched by it, so he was able to get the return at the very least. But I like that trick from Navi. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where the, the bad decisions start creeping in. Every single push you wanted to take when it was 5v5, you do it 4v5. But now, Electronics got some help. Him and Simple combined for two, 2v2. Cool. He's in the corner and he can't get out. Oh. Shiro turning up at the right time. Bit, he wants to fall back and he actually makes the jump backwards. That's a neat trick, Shiro. Now Molotov is going to land on him. It will force him out into the open, but he lands the headshot anyway. A great triple and Gambit are right on the board again. One of his best stats this year is just his very low DPR, you know, keeping that off alive constantly. But unlike Dame, Dame, he doesn't have the reputation of just saving every single round. Okay. Wow, well, okay, you gotta be counting your lucky stars for that one, and Napani knows where his next target is gonna be. Come on, oh, <laughs> Nice nade, and Axile with the headshot to take down Simple. Navi, not, I mean, they had that bonus round, but actually they ended up buying a bunch of Famasas in this round anyway, and they're kind of getting punished a little bit for it. Some of these fights not going their way because the Axile's low on health. Maybe an M4 instead or an AWP would have made the real difference here. Bit is on his own and he's getting swung on by Axile as well. That's so, great. second round. That's kind of cool. Like, Nafany pushed up to the point that you're like, he's prepped to swing. Like, he's probably going to take the second duel by himself. But his team is moving so fluidly, he's able to transition to just utility. They, they throw a nade at this player and that's it. They run away from it and start and keep the round moving forward to just punish the rotations before they even come in. <laughs> oh, that was English, I think. Effect on Boomich over at the B bomb site. Simple, real close to the middle right here. Deagle in hand, 29 seconds and not a lot of time. And even at close range with that new Deagle, he's going to be able to pick up that kill on Nafani. Three versus four, Electronic found inside of the bomb site. That is probably the pivotal kill that they needed right there. And it's Axile oh. at range, spraying down Boomich. Absolutely brilliant work from Axile right here. And two versus two now. He's gunning for another headshot. They're taking the fight to him. And he runs out of bullets. Oh, dear. That's oh. a big problem. Perfecto comes through and saves Navi in an unlikely round. Okay. After shooting so many players down, and I, I thought you had it. Perfect. That first frag on the site opens it up, allows Hero to scale, get out into the site, put the bomb down. But yeah, Perfecto brings it back to 1v2 at the end of the day for him in this position. B bomb side, A bomb side, you can't really rush either. Middle is very hard. You can see uh -oh. Hobbit tried it the last round. That's a good opening. Double through the smoke against Boomich. Wow, it's just called all the cavalry over the rotations here for the CTs. <laughs> okay, all right. He doesn't have an op, but he'll still use only one bullet. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's the timing. Finding it through. Japanese out. Always trust your instincts, guys. Right now. Because um, usually that extra time is what it takes for everyone else to catch up to, to the idea that there was an opening even on the other side. Mm -hmm. 
Perfecto turning around for the flashbang. Great move from him. It allows him to get that kill on Inters. It leaves Hobbit on his own. You know, one versus three. He's already picked up one of those kills. 25 seconds. He'd love to try and get that bomb plant down, but Simple will not allow it. And Navi, they're going to be up five to three. That could be a winning maneuver here from Perfecto. Bit close on the AK. Good spray. Shiro. Love to follow it up, but yep, he has the bomb. He drops it on the ground, which is probably good. Don't want to be giving too much information away. Bin is just doing all the work. He's just won the round on his own. One versus three, essentially, and he wins all of the fights. It just has unlimited fuel in the tank. I feel like you get two kills, and then your guard is down mentally. Like, I've done the job already. Yeah. Not a bit. He just keeps going. That's a heavy ship. I, um, I feel like that's... This is an unfortunate round in some way, because Gambit actually get the opening... What about in Inter's? I mean, if they get in and get the bomb plant out, Inter's position here is absolutely critical, but simple. Already picking off one. He must have seen that, surely, but expecting a flank around the box instead. Backup is being called for, but Exile. One more headshot. Bomb is being planted right in front, and simple. He actually hits it, but <laughs> it cost him his life as well. Exile's back to try and win this round for Gambit. They need it a lot right now. They're down a man here, Hanavi, and how much do they want to throw into this? They have some money if they lose the round, but... Still, retake here is not going to be easy. Inters is calling it in. No one's coming from middle. Good return from Shiro's. Axile finally is down. And that bomb already far ticked. I don't know about this, Navi. This does not feel like a winnable round. Yeah, that's a strange strange attempt here because, you know, first of all, player disadvantage, not even even numbers. Then you know that Gambit are all in their favorite position. So, oh, and they won't even be able to escape it through the... Oh, three players go down. I.e., that's a huge punishment. I mean... Know it can be pretty good for the CT side in general. Ooh. Some frustrating spray there. Oh, that have been, oh. Yeah, distracting him just enough. That was good from Boomich. See, so, yeah, you got to pay attention. To this. Is that pressure real or not? Wow, that's a confident duel one from. I mean, that's confident swing from Axel to just yeah. get out donut like that. But he's been winning that fight a lot, so I, I even kind of understand it. They're going to try and boost over. AWP up on the high ground, up on that little plateau. He had the right idea. Oh. He knows where they both are. Third man rotating in as well. There's a lot of people here for Navi. They could still defend the bomb site. Although Hobbit's doing a good job. Bit, he can't see anything, but he's able to get the kill anyway. And Simple will take down Inters. It's a 9 to 5. So we go into the 15th round. Yeah, that was a problem for him. He had to drop a smoke just to deny vision, but that smoke isn't a wall, and the Molly will come through. Another answer back from Hobbit, and will he sneak out? No, Boomich, so good from him. Off his own smoke, finds that lurk in the mid. Pulls out the pistol, yeah. Oh, but there's a teammate. Simple comes in with a 5-7 and gets a quick double. And you could almost credit some of that to Boomich as well, just absolutely distracting them. Now, Exile. Yeah, we know he's a smart player, but you almost never see him in the clutch. He's got some other teammates that end up staying alive a lot longer. So this would be a nice test, and there's a first kill. He knows where Simple was last spotted a few seconds ago. He doesn't have any smokes. Oh, does he pick? No, nope, that's wow. an HE pickup. Molotov on Axile, though. Could be interesting, maybe. Didn't quite see him, I think. I think his teammate called it for him. It didn't seem like he was confident there. Yeah, he might have. He's got the right aim. I think you're right. He definitely did. Great headshot and a great one versus two clutch. Nine to six at the end of the half in favor of Navi. We'll see if they can continue. Second half is coming up. Hobbit. Bit isolated in the middle. He can actually use a lot of backup right now. They're coming in from the high ground. They're trying to go run him down, hunt him down, and Boomich oh. with a double. And what a start for Navi on the second half. Yeah, okay. Well, the, the, the pistol to get to 10 rounds. Don't want to call it too soon. Exile enters still alive, but Exile is so damn low. He's <laughs> it's going to the moon. <laughs> Are we being too nice? I don't know. I think it's all right. Yeah. I, you know, he will be pivotal because he's going to be playing over on the B site. They have to keep Shiro honest on the other side, but Nafani and Inters, they're double pushed up here. They push right in. There is an attempted free fire, but it doesn't work out. They oh. waited, wanted a big double for Nafani. And Bit and Perfecto. They have the bomb site technically, but once they get the bomb plant down, even if they do at least, they can't, they can't escape. They're trapped on the bomb site no matter what. Four frags here for Nafani. Bit's coming up on him, and he's looking for that last no, but Bit will take him out, and now he's on for the 1v2. He's slow, but Shiro has enough. The HP might not matter. Depends if he takes the rifle around, and he gets the duel. Only the head showing of Axel. He goes down, Shiro. He's walking oh. up, and he knew that he was low. Great communication. Pistols out. Oh, you see the frustration there at the end for Bit. 
that is way too close. They should have won that round probably a little bit sooner. This poor guy has no idea how he's going to die in a second. Oh, just crouching under. I'm Yikes. surprised that simple sticking around after that. And they're going to commit too. Missing the opportunity there. Shiro now is behind the pillar, but he's got the MP9 in front. Good flick from Simple. Only 13 seconds left, and Shiro oh. is absolutely locking it down. Make a movie. <laughs> it's great. And Simple will have to back on out. I more than anything, I, I assume that he would have expected a bunch of nades to land on him after he failed that flick down. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but they didn't have they didn't have any other outs. Shiro, he's moved up. He's actually right behind Boomich. This could actually really play out. Inters is on the other side. Let's just see. Some damage. Good spam coming through. Inters wants to go for it. Is he coordinating it? Shiro has to come at the same time. Oh, and they make it all work at the moment, but now they can't fall back. Completely exposed. And Exile almost gave his life to that same fight. Yeah, a total pull, pull the pin play. And now Navi are working back to mid. Nafni will mow them down. He's just got this one M4 sitting on his perch. Lights two of them up, looking for a third. Perfecto so low. And he's a guy that we know can play a clutch and push it to its limits. But Axile has already proved that he's great in the 1v1. So he'll take him down and they've, they've got the tools. They've proved a lot already um, with the pistol and everything else. They want both pistols this map. Oh, I'd be pretty, pretty damn scared if I was Gambit still. And it's, and it's another situation where they win, but it's only with one alive. Yeah, that's very true. Shiro back here. One of the few rounds where it's probably a really great thing that he doesn't have the AWP because they're going to be coming through in large numbers. They have armor as well. Axile, the first point of contact. Not really traded yet. Simple's going to get the headshot. That was just a deagle to take down Shiro. And while this battle is happening, Axile can't help out his teammates that are in the bomb site. He's just playing a ring around the rosy, oh. ring around the donut as it were this time. Oh, but he gets the follow-up. Electronic as well goes down, and Simple is low on health. It all works out at the end. He tried to stab him. How did put in his place? How did Axile do that, man? I have no idea. He was so low, so close that they could do some real damage here, Navi. They're going to be springing and just exploding onto the bomb site. Flash to set it up. Nafani, oh, I can't believe that he still him. lives. He's going to get the headshot. He should have been dead instantly when that flash came out. Inters will be there for another kill. And Navi can't really spend time right now. Molotov is there, but they need to get this bomb plant dick quick before anyone else from the Gambit side shows up. It's Inters coming in, but it's not enough. Bit will get a double, and Perfecto will get one there. Absolutely godlike retake from Navi. Oh. Yeah, that was monster. I it, it, And then Inters was able to find one and tuck for so long with the flash to assist for the peak. He finds the next frag, but Navi treated it like a death match. They were out in the open. There was no time for nades anymore. They just had to trust their crosshairs, and they delivered with their back completely against the wall. Not if they change the pace like this. Nafid is on his own. He's trying to smoke and stay alive inside of that smoke with a 5-7, but they're gonna find him. Boomich, <laughs> random headshot to take down Exile. And I would almost say at this point, just save what you got and try and bring it over time. They've got too much left over. Inter's taking bullets through the wall. Be very exciting. It's gonna be on Inferno. So it's the perennial closing. It's gotta be Inferno them. at the end. I mean, if it's not Inferno, I don't wanna watch. It's true. We should make that a rule. You can pick the other two maps, but we just have yeah. the, the analyst and the audience get to... You pick Inferno against played third, that's it. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Simple making a play, and it's versus an MP9. Way far back, Inters will spot him. How long do you want to take that duel, though? And now he's going to look for your friend, and he'll kill your friend. Inters, he's out. That's two players on A. They have to rotate over. They know Shiro got his frag as well. There's no more players here. Huge return. And actually... They were so stuck on that bomb site they could never escape because there was also Perfecto coming in from the other side. They were boxed in. They have to fight for it. They have to try and see if they can get this done. Otherwise, they're going to end up losing Ancient. And we'll go to Inferno as the deciding map of the Grand Finals. Shiro looking for anyone on the ramp, but they are hard to find right now. Navi, they're dug in on the bomb site. They don't want to show themselves. Oh, he messed that up. And that is it. 16-11. He tried to unsilence that gun at the end, obviously by mistake. And that is how Navi get to Inferno. We're gonna try this moto smoke to just separate the defense a little bit, hit lane really quickly, and Bit will have a call to action. 
Oh, that Molotov is really frustrating. He's pushed out. He can't really stand in this bomb site or in the, in the pit any longer. It's bit and simple instead. A double headshot for simple. Can he land one more? Low on health as electronic down there, but he did survive the flames. And finally, they're going to find him. Perfecto has bought him and simple with the final headshot. Ooh. That fight took so long oh, yeah. that eventually that beat defense got just in time to save the day. Oh, man. Like you said, that frustrating Molotov. It took out all the space for Electronic. He was still on the other side of it, but just in time, was bit on the rotation, simple within the site to take all the attention back. And, and that was huge because Electronic continued to have impact. They knew that all the while they had to fight forward into the site. Perfecto's pushed it down and is actually in second mid, which means there is a weird wave. Oh, he's going to catch him right away. I was going to say, if somehow Perfecto goes down here, they actually have a pretty clean run back to the bomb site, but nice burst from that MP9 to take down Shiro. Okay. Yeah, and a nice little move from Perfecto to take the underpass route, considering he had the MP9. If he ran back down mid, he would have got spotted. Hobbit gets taken out. Two players alive for Navi. A bit in this spot, actually, you know, it's actually sometimes a little bit better because you can throw really powerful flashes that can't be dodged so easily from back here. And Perfecto will take his one peek. He'll actually get out, so maybe they'll hold this nade. Oh, but Perfecto doesn't live on his way out. Great Molotov and HE, but they can't capitalize on it. Even, I mean, they don't even know that they did that much damage. So a round that looked to me like it was won almost too easily considering the, the, the four on four situation. I don't mind necessarily that that looked like Navi wanted to rotate that into a one three setup. Mm -hmm. Crawl out of it. I don't even know how it follows him that long. This is a really good Molotov to know the one that Nafini just threw on the other side. Simple, realizing they're close, and he will take two of them with him. So, not even going to fall back behind it. Just wants to keep pushing. Puts up a smoke. They kept four alive, but uh, on the dark side, it's the only round they've won. One more tactic to try something out, but they're testing an absolute beast and a second to support him. Shiro, he, I'm sure he feels like he's getting flanked, so an awkward spot for him. Time's, I don't know why he's doing this. I feel like this is a big mistake for Shiro. Time is going to be running out, but they're surely going to come for him. There's oh. the jump up. Dies after the clock has run out. Yeah. Slightly nerdy reference. All right. Simple. Tries for a flick. Perfecto over at the archway, and they don't check the right way. He's going to get one of them, but there are two more coming, and yep, they know where he is this time. Good little shot into the wall to bait him into the peak, and they are ready for it as well. Boomich, though, gets one quick spray, and it's a nice 180 to take down Inters, leaving Shiro on his own in a... He can't really win this round, can he? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's he is the guy to clutch if there's going to be one. So 20 seconds up, and he still has a bit of a kit here. He would love to be able to find an opening duel, but now they can just start charging him and he puts the plant down. So I'll we'll see. He's got the space that he needs to get the plant off, but they're punishing him for it. And it's played perfectly. I mean, yeah, no outs whatsoever. Arch is wide open. There's a timing here, but there's no one left on the B side, so it doesn't lead me to believe they're going to go through Arch. Oh, and he's pushing up as they're trying to take Arch, because you're right, they found that opening in the in the defense, but now they have to go back oh. and deal with Simple through the smoke. He takes down Shiro, and now he's back looking towards the library. He actually realizes someone's there behind him. He takes the shot, and one more second, yeah. he would have had Hobbit as well, you could tell. But this is a good wrap right now for Gambit. Perfecto and Boomage, though. They have an, a bit of a health advantage, actually. Understands that someone's trying to peek him from the halls, but says, I got to take this timing here. Basically, you know, he's a free run. He's a freelancer. He doesn't have a boss in that situation. He's just trying to make. Could mean a lot. Electronic still got his. Oh. Can they burn it out? Not get himself out of here. And he has a peek. Oh, and they don't clear it. I thought they would have thrown oh. Molotov, another headshot to follow it up, and this is looking great for Perfecto. They wish they'd use that Molotov now. It's almost too late. Shiro, if he misses that kill, the round is over, and it even still might be. Electronic, the king of that pit position, going to be able to take one more with him, and that is a 7-2 to two scoreline with Gambit only losing Perfecto. That's, that's a bit of mark on the record. Electronic playing that arch position that they didn't check last time against Perfecto and the cost of the round. I'm sure this time they're going to do a better job. Flash through, but no. Oh. Simple is there, and it, it's not even up to Electronic to get the kill. Nafani is just dead before he even does anything. Inters with a pretty good trade, but they still got to be careful. They must win against Perfecto without losing anyone else. He shoots him right through the tree. That is a rare kill. And 25 seconds here for the 2 on 4 And Navi, they can slow this down. They can take a deep breath right now. Simple, he'll cover the cross and get one. He shot, I think, right under him, right between his legs. And now it's Hobbit. One versus two. Surely 
There's no way to win this round for Hobbit. He's already locked in. He can't really escape this position by the coffins. They're going to be doubling up on this side. Oh, wait. He backs up. He doesn't even check it. What a lot of confidence from Hobbit. They're right in front of him as well. He's a little bit tagged up, but not quite enough. There's the headshot and reloading as he tries to make his way back. Hobbit, they need this round. Gambit, this one might be for the first half, and he oh. misses the spray. It's so close. But Perfecto able to get it right at the end. And Navi, they find another one, 9-3. to three. That's crazy. What a play. And how, how much of a badass do you have to be to back up into that, yeah. into that construction angle? Knowing Not even be right peaking. behind you. It, yeah, that was such a confidence move. I mean, that was insane. Such a nice attempt. What a shame. He knows he had that. Yeah. And he even had chances to play the down the time. The way that they're set up around here. Smoke is going to go down. Oh, and simple. Bam. Forward position again. Always keeping them guessing. He finds a way, man. He finds a way to manufacture these opening kills. And it's always a mystery how he just has such a, a good beat on the situation. But instead of them doing something and Nafti coming out late, he starts off with a lurk. Perfecto's still here in top mid. They haven't even thought about Perfecto at this point. And he sees the remaining two players I as know. well. It's everything he wanted in that moment. Happy to give his life for that round. 25 seconds. Trying to force their way into the bomb site. There's nothing they could do right here. This round will go to Na'Vi, no matter what. Inters up on top of the barrels with 14 seconds left, and he is going to be run down from at least three different angles. Boomich will find the last one. Good triple kill round for him. But, I mean, one thing is for sure. You wait Na'Vi out, eventually they will leave B uh, and top banana alone and give you the opportunity to come in, but Boomich will have to come on. always get an opening kill. Oh, perfecto, clapping him up. Yeah, he's been bored a little bit out there. Yeah. He hasn't had so much action in the B-bomb side. He's just been assisting Boomich and getting multi-kills. Yeah. F 15 and 3 and 13 and 5 between the two of them. Yeah, it's time to shine right there. Hobbit trying to find it. Boomich is wow. so excited. 11 to 3. What do you do? And that would, do be, do? that would be Bit going 4 for 4 on land wins in his first year as a professional CSGO player. That must have never happened before, I have to assume. No. Boomich and Perfecto put under pressure again, and this time a good opening for Axile. He'll take down Boomich towards the coffins. They know Perfecto is back here, angling for a multi-spray, but it'll stop at the first one. And Hobbit guarding the middle at the same time. So this is a really successful hit, and should very much be a fourth round here for Gambit. I don't know how they would get the kills. You can, in fact, shoot through, but they're standing on the other side of a box, which you can also shoot through that box, by the way, but very hard to do. Nefani goes down, Electronic, and what? Hobbit is next. Oh, no, please. This can't be happening. He's going to swing for it, and Intus will stop the madness. Finally, 11 to 4 in the first half. Second half is coming up. Last chance for Gamba to do anything in this grand finals. So the attack will, will come forward. There's not a particular stack here on the CT side. There's not going to be a lot of support. Typically, you don't want to have the guy in CT to help out, but it'll be Nafani with the only flashes of the round. Oh, nice start, oh. Hobbit. Beautiful headshots to begin with. He's finally going to be dealt with. Bit will find the headshot. They do have the P250 on simple, so that's really worth keeping an eye on, especially in the afterplant. It could get a bit spicy. Electronic will go down into through the smoke, able to find him. And simple back here. He may have to do all the work. The Glock is up close there for Bit. He's just a bit of a stopgap to buy some time. Oh my god. There's the first headshot ringing out. Yep, and I know what you're thinking as well. This should be the round for Gambit, but it might not be. One more simple. No! They can go Axel and they win the clutch. Unbelievable. Two versus four. You saw it. You foreshadowed it coming. Oh, you could feel it. The P250. Just that little buff in accuracy and simple. Not dying at quad. One peak, two peak. And the reactions are just too slow. And you see Bit up close. Close in this situation, probably the two best players you'd like to have these days in a two on four situation. And no matter how mad Hobbit is about the fact that he gave up a fantastic attempt in the clutch, you've just got two beasts waiting for you, controlling your every movement, and they just look so composed. You can't believe that, man. Over the finish line, win a lucky round, and it's all over for you. So we'll see if Gambit can even get that far. Oops, Hobbit. Fires the gun a bit early. Flashbang will find him. Good movement and good, good awareness for Navi to be ready for that kind of thing. Axile is on his own. They still didn't look perfect in spots, even though Simple was just it was absolutely himself. They referenced it via Blade, you know, saying there were still problems on T side, T sides here and there. Even though he can be quite particular about you know every little detail. Presumably thinking Hobbit could get a kill before anything really happens. <laughs> that is. 
That's very, very close. Boomich makes the run. Smoke goes down as well. 30 seconds and a little bit of an angle there, but Shiro, lightning fast to click that trigger and he's going to be able to take down Boomich. 25 seconds. Well, they're going to try for the bomb plot. No, that doesn't work. Yeah. Unfortunately, cannot do that. That's the angle you're looking for. There are no mollies. So they can either smoke quad if they want to and make this difficult. Oh my god! No way he did that. He just got boosted up instantly and he saw him somehow and possibly right over. They know that he's up there, but he's still alive. He falls back down there. Spit with the headshot. Gambit, you have a massive man advantage going into this retake, but it's dwindling every second now. Perfecto at the angle, takes down Axile and Gambit. It looked like it was meant oh. to be that they could get the six rounds, but I'm not so sure anymore. Shiro, one versus three. And Navi, they forced their way back into the round, and they're going to get to 15 to five. What a win. What a creative move to make up on quad to see over top of the smoke in that late round situation. Gambit need 10 in a row. I don't know if there's anyone that believes that can happen right now. Nafferty, pick up a kill right there. Taking down Perfecto. It's not a bad start to the round. That was his fifth kill, by the way. Axile's also at five kills. Ooh, says a little bit about how much they've been punished. Crossfire working out fairly well at the moment. And Axile, just as we mentioned his name, started to make up for it. Bit strong headshot, but he is on his own. Trying to win this in a one versus five, essentially. Very low on health, and there should be absolutely no way with the bomb lost as well. Couldn't land that one trade needed on Axile. And that's where the round totally fell apart. No one's here peeking or retaking at all. The two rotations are nowhere near Arch. And in fact, they're going to start moving out of this spot. But Nafany opens up. Good, strong kill to begin with. Crossfire attempted. Nafany has to do it on his own. That's a really cool transfer. They managed, to, they managed to get three at the end, which is more than you could have hoped for. Bomb is being planted, though. And Shiro and Inters, they're far away. They do not have a defuse kit currently picked up. By the time they get here, and again, slowed down by another smoke, Oh, it's going to be really tricky, isn't it? Oh, they're going to play this off contact. Simple shoots. Teammate peeks. Either they both die or they both get kills. Oh, there's the swing initially. Shiro, he throws the gun at him. He's toying with him a bit. And Shiro, he gets the headshot on Simple, but still, Bit is left alive on the other side. And the bomb is ticking right now. I don't know if there's a kid on the ground, but he needs to move. He needs to be quick, and it's not going to happen. 16 6. Another tournament win this time. Blast World Finals for Navi. Absolutely the best team in the world right now if you couldn't prove it before this is the final piece of evidence the last tournament of the year they raised the trophy we have bit undefeated on land this year winning every major event he attended the back-to-back -back world final champions here at blast premier it's Nartus vinciri <laughs> Oh! <laughs>